This video describes a feature of the PID block generally known as PV tracking. This feature may be either enabled or disabled. Although the initialization equations are the same, the PV tracking feature affects the behavior of the transition from manual to auto. If PV tracking is enabled and the PID block is in manual, the value of the set point tracks the value of the process variable. If PV tracking is disabled or the PID block is in auto, these actions are not performed. When PV tracking is enabled, the initialization equation is slightly simpler. By forcing the set point to equal to PV, the initial control error, E0, must be zero. The initialization equation simplifies to M sub R zero equals M zero. That is, the initial value M sub R zero for the controller output bias is the manual value M zero of the controller output. For the older pneumatic and electronic analog controllers, the simpler initialization equation was an advantage, but not for digital controls. To examine the PV tracking specification for the hot air temperature controller, open the configuration window. The PV tracking option is on the set point tab. Two options are available for in manual set point. The option tracks process variable is PV tracking enabled. The option holds current value is PV tracking disabled. Currently PV tracking is disabled. Open the tuning parameters tab. The controller gain is 1% the reset time is 0.8 minutes. The controller is using proportional and interval. Close the configuration window. For the hot air temperature controller, PV tracking is currently disabled. The following statements apply. The value of the set point can be changed with the loop in manual. The value of the set point is used in the initialization calculations. Because of the latter, it is essential that the operator specify an appropriate value for the set point before switching to auto. Change the hot air temperature set point to 220 degrees Celsius. The controller E is 10 degrees Celsius. The value of 78.7% open displayed in the point window for the controller output bias is the result of the initialization calculations. This was explained in the previous video. Switch the controller to auto. The controller responds so as to drive the PV to the set point of 220 degrees Celsius. Observe that the value for the controller output bias in the point window is changing. This is due to the use of the integral mode. Let's enable PV tracking in the hot air temperature controller. First switch to manual. Then open the configuration window and select the set point tab. For in manual set point, 
select tracks process variable. This enables PV tracking. Save the change. Attempt to change the set point. The message indicates that this is not allowed when the controller is in manual and set point tracking is enabled. Increase the fresh air damper opening to 65.8%. This causes the value of the hot air temperature to decrease. Because PV tracking is enabled, the value of the set point also decreases. However, the value of the controller output bias remains at 84.3% open, which is the same as the fuel gas valve opening. The controller is in manual with a set point of 209.2 .2 degrees Celsius. Let's go to automatic with a set point of 220 degrees Celsius. Two actions are required and in the following order. Switch to auto, specify desired value for the set point. On the switch to auto, the controller output remains at 84.3% open, so the trans transition is bumpless. Step two is to change the set point to 220 degrees Celsius. The controller output abruptly increases, a behavior known as the proportional kick. The transition from manual to auto is bumpless. However, the controller output abruptly changes when the value for the set point is changed. The main consequence of the choice for PV tracking pertains to operator training. The switch to auto is simple. Select the loop and hit auto. But in addition, the value for the set point must be correct. And this is the responsibility of the process operator. When PV tracking is enabled, the operator first switches to auto and then enters the desired value for the set point. With PV tracking disabled, the operator first enters the desired value for the set point and then switches the loop to auto. Which is the preferred option for PV tracking? The pros and cons of one option over the other largely cancel. The major impact is operator training. The PV tracking option is provided for each PID block. However, it is best to choose a preferred option for PV tracking and specify this for all loops. Regardless of the choice, exceptions are occasionally required. For example, advanced control configurations must also be initialized. Occasionally this requires a certain PV tracking specification for one or more PID blocks. The integral mode is the subject of the next video.